there were certainly a large number of changes as the primitive pelicosaurs changed into advanced pelicosaurs, into the primitive therapsids, into the advanced therapsids, into the primitive cynodonts, into the intermediate cynodonts, into the advanced cynodonts. What did all of these changes mean? Well, I think in general, they mean that the cynodonts were warmer, smarter, and faster than the pelicosaurs had been. But because those traits are expensive to maintain, therefore the cynodonts also had modified aspects of their body so that they could better process nutrition and better bring in oxygen so that they could support uh, the increased energy demands on their new bodies. As far as we can tell, cynodonts were smarter than pelicosaurs had been. One can measure the inside of the brain case and estimate the size of the brain. And cynodonts had increased brain sizes relative to their body compared to uh, the pelicosaurs. So as far as we can tell, the cynodonts were much more mammalian in the level of their intelligence. The cynodonts, as far as we can tell, were also warmer than the pelicosaurs. In other words, that they were warm-blooded. Uh, the therapsids seem to have been the ones which developed uh, endothermy or warm-bloodedness. Uh, we can estimate this by the blood vessels in uh, the bones of these fossils. Also, by the time of the cynodonts, there seems to have been, at the very least, whiskers at the snout, given you know the holes for blood vessels and nerves in the snout region. And if there were whiskers, then quite possibly these animals were covered with hair as well. And so cynodonts probably had developed some degree of endothermy, or being warm-blooded, uh, compared to the pelicosaurs. In addition, cynodonts were probably stronger and faster than the pelicosaurs had been. Stronger in a number of ways. Their vertebral column was more solidified and better adapted to bearing uh, weight on land. The neural arches of the vertebrae had increased area for larger muscle attachments. Smaller pieces of the individual vertebrae were no longer present. Uh, in the neck region, the first two vertebrae had fused in a special way to allow more movements of the head. The limb girdles were modified. The bones of the shoulder had changed. Some reptilian bones of the shoulder joint had been lost. Uh, the hips had been modified to allow for greater muscle attachment and uh, stronger leg movements. The uh, limbs were now held erect, so while the pelicosaurs had a sprawling uh, body posture like those of, say, lizards today, the cynodonts uh, walked erect, more like mammals. Also, the vertebral column no longer undulated laterally or moved side to side as we see in lizards and crocodiles, and rather by the time of the cynodonts, uh, the back would have been held more straight while running, more typical of mammals. All of these changes would have given uh, the cynodonts a skeleton better adapted for life on land and with stronger limb muscles uh, able to hold the body erect. And so they probably would have been stronger and faster uh, compared to pelicosaurs of similar sizes because of these muscular and skeletal changes. None of these changes would have come cheaply, however. More muscles and larger muscles would take more energy to maintain. Walking erect as opposed to sprawling would require more energy. Being warm-blooded requires much more energy than being cold-blooded. Larger brains require more energy. And so if cynodonts were to evolve these changes in their body temperature, their brain size, and their musculature, they would also then have to uh, improve the ability to get energy to power these changes. So we do see a number of changes develop uh, first in the teeth so that Going from pelicosaurs through cynodonts, different types of teeth evolved so that cynodonts would have incisors and canines, premolars and molars. Their cheek teeth would allow for better processing of uh, food as they allowed chewing. This allowed cynodonts to make more out of the nutrition that they gathered. 
Also, because the, uh, the bones in the roof of the mouth fuse to form the hard palate, now uh, cynodonts could breathe while they were eating. This means that they could eat more because uh, eating did not interrupt uh, their breathing. It also meant that they could breathe constantly, ensuring a constant oxygen supply to power their brains and to get energy to their muscles. When they lost their lumbar ribs and presumably uh, evolved the diaphragm, this allowed them to have their guts hang out when they inhaled, thus allowing their lungs to be longer with each breath. So compared to a pelagosaur reptile, they were probably bringing in more oxygen uh, with each uh, breath and therefore this oxygen helped them to maintain the warmer body, larger brain size, and increased uh, energy demands of the muscle.